Hi everyone, I'm Andy Trice and I'm back again to talk to you today about Adobe Edge Web Fonts. Now, Adobe Edge Web Fonts is a free service from Adobe that offers fonts for rich typography in your HTML experiences. Now, last week there was a lot of really big announcements around Creative Cloud and a lot of the creative tooling, a lot of awesome new features. But one of the things that kind of slid under the radar and not many people noticed was the new interface for browsing and consuming web fonts offered through the Edge Web Fonts service. So let's go ahead and take a look because it's now easier than ever to browse web fonts, preview what they're going to look like in an HTML experience, and then include them into your own HTML files for use in, use in your experiences. Let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing we've got up here is the landing page for Edge Web Fonts. You can see you just navigate to edgewebfonts.adobe.com. You can get the information that you need to get started. Uh, it's over 500 fonts, totally free, and it's powered by the same infrastructure le leveraged by Typekit. I'll go ahead and click on the Get Started button, and we can start browsing the fonts. Now, you can see a preview of whichever fonts, by, um, you know, this is the default selection here, of whatever y you want to see. But let's say if I have custom text, I really want to see how is this font going to look with text other than the letters A, B, and C. Let me go ahead and type in my name, and it's going to show you a preview in all of the different fonts that, that, that are visible on the screen. Now, let's say I want to select a font by the classification. Do I want something that's sans serif, or do I want something that's more like a script? Do I want something a little bit more creative and out there? So I go ahead and select what's creative and out there. Now, when you're previewing the fonts, you'll get to see a lot of different fonts on the screen here. Uh, and when you want to include those for your own, own consumption in your own HTML files, all you have to do is mouse over a font and then click select this font. And what that's going to do is it's going to show you an interface where you can verify the fonts that you've selected. It's going to provide you a JavaScript reference that you include in your HTML files. And when you include that JavaScript reference, that's going to include all the CSS changes, everything needed for consumption of that font within your own HTML files. And the third piece is it's going to give you the font family declarations that you can then put on your elements within your HTML. Um, if, if you're, you can either put that in a style attribute or put it in a CSS style so they can apply applied to the actual HTML content. Now I've selected one file here, Stump Standard. That one's kind of hard to say, um, but we have the Stump font. And, and let's say I'm going to use that for headings, but I want to choose something else for my actual paragraph content. So let me choose um, one in the handmade category uh, because I want it to look like really bad handwriting, just like I have in real life. And I'm going to go ahead and select Waiting for Sunrise. Now you can see I've got two fonts selected, and I want to copy those and paste that into my HTML content. So all I have to do is click on the clipboard icon, and it's been copied to the system clipboard. Now that it's copied to the clipboard, I can just go ahead and hit paste in my HTML editor. In this case, I'm showing Adobe Edge Code, and Edge Code is an editor from Adobe that, that has a really great feature of a live connection to the browser. So I've pasted that in, but I haven't made any changes. But let me go ahead and open the live connection to the browser so you can see the changes that I make for CSS in real time as I'm editing the HTML content. So you click on the lightning bolt. What that does is we edit the code here on the right-hand side. And in the left-hand side, we have the actual browser. And then when you make changes in the editor, you're going to see those in real time in the browser. Now, the next thing I want to do is actually copy the font family declarations and use those in the CSS for my HTML. So I'll click on the clipboard icon, and the first thing I want to do is apply a font to my headings. So you can see I've got my live HTML on the left-hand side. I've got my editor on the right-hand side. I'm going to go ahead and hit Command-E to open up the inline editor. And what that does is it opens up the CSS style that applies to whatever node I've selected. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit Paste. And you can see that as soon as I paste it in the, the stump standard font family that it was updated in the browser in real time but you know that's kind of hard to read it looks kind of small let's increase the font size so we'll change the font size and we'll make it 400 percent and you can see just by making those simple css changes i'm now taking advantage of that rich typography in my html experience i'll go ahead and click out of that and We'll go ahead back to the Edge web font site and we'll, we'll copy the font family waiting for sunrise, which we're going to use in our paragraph elements. So I'll click the clipboard. It's been copied to the system clipboard. Now I'll go select a paragraph HTML node and hit Command E. This opens up the inline editor. And then I'll paste that style. And when I jump back, you can see that that font has now been applied to my HTML content. 
So there you have it. It's as easy as three simple steps to include Edge Web Fonts in your own HTML experiences. The first step is to go to edgewebfonts.adobe.com and select the fonts that you want to use. The second step is just to copy the script reference that you get from Edge Web Fonts uh, and include that in your own HTML file. Then the third step is to copy the font family de declarations and paste those into your own CSS styles so that those C the fonts will be applied to the actual HTML elements in your own HTML files. And it's as easy as that. Uh, you can go over to edgewebfonts.adobe.com to, to get started with those now and to learn more. Thanks.